Hi guys, this is Matt and I'm about to show you how to run PlayStation games at their full potential, at their best possible look. Now I'm using DockStation Emulator which is probably the best PlayStation emulator out there. For this one, I'm using SmackDown 2 as our test example. After loading the game, go into Enhancement Settings and normally people would just simply up the resolution to 9K. And this while it may seem like there's something good, you can see here that the wobble is still present and it's very distracting. Look at Jeff and Matt and the ring is kind of vibrating. So what you're going to do is go down into this PGXP Precision Geometry Transform Pipeline section and then click on Geometry Correction. You can see that the wobble has now been improved and then click on Culling Correction. And now the holes in the geometry are now fixed, then Texture Correction. And then for some, Depth Buffer may also help because if we turn this off, the hair for both Matt and Jeff is kind of flickering then when you turn this on, it's now gone. However, there are still side effects like the shadows down here, but it's far more acceptable than the flickering hair. So click this depth buffer for SmackDown to know your role and test this out on other games if you're having issues. But just to be safe, you can disable this for your other games. Now for some, this is already acceptable and this indeed looks far better than our original look. But I want to even further enhance the look of this game and make it seem more like I'm playing this game back when it first released, but with the aforementioned fixes. So what we're going to do here is go back into our settings and then go into display settings. And then I'm just simply going to downsample the game back to a box type of dance sample. And now this seems more like those FMV sequences that you're seeing in Final Fantasy or even Driver 1, where the models and the assets are similar to the actual gameplay, but it's far more clean, kind of cinematic. And it kind of makes you wish that the game looked like this way because this kind of look is usually reserved in the box art screenshots and also in the back of the box when you're buying the game. This is more close to that original envied look that we've seen in our games. Now if you even want to improve your experience and play this game to a widescreen monitor without having to stretch the image, what you're simply going to do is go back into enhancement settings, click on the widescreen hack, and then back to display settings and then choose an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. Close the settings, go into full screen, then you have a full widescreen experience of your PlayStation 1 games which doesn't compromise the image quality. Thanks everyone and I hope that you enjoyed this video.